Tonight we're getting an inside look at how Biden picked Harris. Yeah, and it may have been because of an 11th hour meeting. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is live at the Capitol for us tonight with a move that may have made all the difference here. Marissa. Well, guys, from the state capitol to possibly the nation's capital, Kamala Harris has deep roots at this house here in Sacramento as a senator and attorney general here. And her supporters say it's the connections that she made here that pushed her name to the top of the shortlist for VP. We did. We went rogue. Lieutenant Governor Eleni Kunalakis going rogue, demanding a conference call with Team Biden on behalf of Kamala Harris. And I put in a call to Team Biden and said, look, we'd really like to talk to you and tell you our personal stories. The call was 15 people, the senator's staunchest allies in the state, all mobilized, including the mayors of Long Beach and San Francisco, lobbyists, business and union leaders. We really felt we had to set the record straight. It was a quick turnaround. The lieutenant governor got the okay. And 72 hours later, there they were, face to face with the presumed Democratic presidential nominee. Everybody took two minutes to say what they knew about her and why they felt she was the right choice. The call only 45 minutes, but something the lieutenant governor is proud of. She said the mayor of Long Beach had tragically lost his mother the day before, but said he needed to be on that call. Do you think that made a difference in yesterday's announcement? I, I have to believe it did, uh, simply because, you know, I was on this call and it was incredibly impressive. Political expert Gary Dietrich says it's likely no other VP candidate was granted that same meeting. And he says it made an impact. So this is kind of an 11th hour, make sure you save the Harris vice president candidacy kind of call. He says it showed the Biden camp. Kamala Harris has wide reach and could be a fierce competitor on the national stage. In their view, the former vice president knew that the potential vice president could survive the rigors of the campaign. And two things worth noting, the lieutenant governor has reportedly been on the list for Governor Newsom to name as senator if Harris and Joe Biden win the race in November. And though he's shown vocal support, especially in the spring, Governor Newsom, we're told, was not on this conference call with Joe Biden and his team and showing support for Kamala Harris.